everyone, welcome to another video Hornby review. Now today we are reviewing a loco which I got back in March of 2020 and it is the limited edition Hornby Smoky Drone. Now as you can tell, it's already out of this box because I've had it for over a year now, nearly a year. Um, and I have a bit of a problem with the box as well, you can see they kind of fell apart on me. But, so this box is really nice, it's got a beautiful presentation on it in the Hornby Railway style. And you've got there all the information about Smokey Joe, feel free to pause it if you want to. But this box isn't important. So, now let's get to the loco. So here is the loco itself, a very, very beautiful model. Come on, focus camera. Focus or I'll kill you. Focus. There we go. You can see the detail on this is just amazing. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to zoom in on that number. 56025. Much more detailed than the standard Smokey Joe. And cheaper as well. I don't know how that works out. Cheaper. But oh well. The cab is not detailed at all really. It's just got the usual Hornby stuff. It did come with men but the men have fallen out. I had to sack them. And you can see here it's got a beautiful imprint of a logo of a badge there. LMS, oh it's an LMS loco. Built 1890 I think. Sure, I can't I can't quite read that. But yep, Smokey Joe. Now the story of Smokey Joe is that what happened was there's this old pug loco at the I think it was the Glasgow Docks, which is abandoned, or the shipyard, which was abandoned. And this man came in and I saw that on the side of it, someone had written in chalk, Smokey Joan. So Hornby made their new pug loco into number 56025, Smokey Joan. Sadly, the real Smokey Joe is no longer with us. But anyway, let's get this onto the track and see how she runs, bearing in mind that she has been running. Oh okay, guys, so I've got Smokey Joe on the track. Ready to try out crawling. So I've got my gauge mouse controller on. I'm turning the power up. And obviously nothing happened. Try and just a little bit. Oh, there we go. Running well. A bit sticky here and there, but then my track is horribly dirty. Oh! You see how much of a crawl I can do. Bit more. We're getting close. Oh, that's about as best we can do. And that's full power. Stuck again. So I'm going to set it set off around it. I'm going to put some carriages on it. Oh, sorry if I knock you guys. I'm going to put. I'm just going to put one carriage on it. So I'm going to put my latest carriage, which is a mainline Darlington RFH Stabler carriage. Crank up the power, and off she goes. Give it, give it full power. You see, she's absolutely whizzing around, running beautifully. It's running really well. Very impressive, very, a very impressive loco indeed. And for only £40, it's very good. There she goes, or there she blows, should say. But anyway, I want to say thank you for watching, guys, and hope you found it good. Bye bye, guys. See you later.